Glory to the Holy One, substantial life created, undivided can it be. O and ever and ever Glory to God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O God, O my God, free my soul, and stir sing. My body pines free like a dry weary land, tell me all to your glory, my soul, and stir sing. My body pines free like a dry weary land, tell me all to your glory. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, and your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with the banquets, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I gaze through the night, for you have been my help. <clears throat> in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as the prey of jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God, all that's where my hand shall be blessed. For the mouth of liars shall be silenced. On you I gaze through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high and to the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For this holy church, and for all who enter into faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy Father Francis, Paul of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Kirk, the venerable presbyterate, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea and in land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. God, we be delivered from all affliction, rather than me, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, for your will to pray. Lord, have mercy. God, the many, and most holy, most pure, and most blessed, and glorious Lady, the faithful, those who never virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life. To Christ our Father, you, O Lord. We thank you, Lord our God, for you awakened us from our sleep and have delivered us with praise, that we might worship you and call upon your holy name. We beg of your compassion, and you have always shown towards us. Hear us now and send help to those who stand before your holy glory, awaiting your abundant mercy. O Lord, grant that those who serve you in fear and love may praise your ineffable goodness. For he is to all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My spirit burns for you in the night, just my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
who were in judgment on the earth, the world's inhabitants were just Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let them be shamed when they see your zeal appear before. Let the fire prepare for your enemies consume them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You have increased the nation, O Lord, increased the nation to your own glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lifting our hearts to heaven, let us imitate the heavenly hosts, and let us fall down with fear before the Lord, as we sing the hymn of victory and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, O our God, through the power of your holy cross and mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The cherubim dare not raise their eyes to you, as they joyfully sing the divine words of the thrice holy dew. And we sinners also cry out with them, Holy, holy, holy are you, O our God, through whom the prayers of all the saints have mercy on us, now and ever and forever. Amen. Overwhelmed by the weight of our many sins, we dare not souls and bodies bow before you. We sing together with the angels. Holy, holy, holy are you, O our God, through the prayers of the day, also God's have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever, Amen. You have favored your land, O Lord. You have restored the well-being of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You have averted all your age. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life, and your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I shall hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. Peace for his people and his friends and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met, justice and peace have kissed. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield his fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever, Amen. Lord have mercy 
God, and the many are most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the faithful those in the Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Blossom forth, as but the tree in the midst of the whole world has produced life. For they who have all tasted the fruit, while they corrupt, became corrupt. But those who have taken the latter have attained in your rapture. For by the cross you save the human race. In that you are God. God is our King before all ages. He has brought salvation in the middle of the earth. In paradise of all the trees stripped me naked. And by my tasting the enemy brought mortality upon me. But when the tree of the cross was planted in the ground, it brought forth the rain of life everlasting, and filled the whole world with all joy, beholding it uplifted, O oh, you people. With faith let us pray together to God, your house is full of glory. God is wondrous in his saints, the God of Israel. Through faith you are shown to be ever radiant beacons for the whole world, and placing all your martyric faith in God. With the noetic oil of the Holy Spirit, you fed the lamps of your souls, wherefore you have been even revealed to the church, as no one comes pouring forth healings like water upon all. Oh, all praise, passion bearers, entreat me, Christ God, that he grants remission of sins unto those who with love celebrate your holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O Virgin, when you beheld him who became incarnate from you, lifted upon the cross in the midst of two thieves, overcome with weeping, you cried aloud, Woe is me, O my most sweet child! How is it that you, in that you are compassionate, take away the sins of the world, are willingly crucified, desiring as God that the dignity of mortals be offered to you in praise? Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight? I have done. That you may be justified to be descendants, and even that we grew up with you. O seeing guilt, I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Did you love to be in the heart of heaven? The secret of my heart, keep me visible. Sprinkle me with this oven, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may fill. From my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. Of your faithful heal, God, for the steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of purpose, sustain me. Now I teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Deliver me from the blood guilt, O God, my saving God. 
And my tongue shall ring out your truth. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, but an offering from me you will reduce. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a contrite humble heart you will not spare. In your goodness, O Lord, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you'll be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings will be consumed. Then you'll be offered young girls on your altar. O Lord our God, you have given us forgiveness through repentance, and as long of knowledge and confession of sins, you have revealed to us the repentance of the prophet David and led to pardon. Master, have mercy in your kindness and in your compassion, blot out our offenses. For against you have we sinned, O Lord, who know the hidden depths of our hearts, and who alone have the power to forgive sins. Of your heart we have created for us. You have sustained us in the spirit of fervor, and have given us the joy of your help. Do not pass us away from your presence, but in your goodness and love for all, grant that we may offer a sacrifice of righteousness and oblation on your holy altar until our last breath. Through the mercies and goodness and love of your only begotten Son, whom you are blessed, together in your all with your good and life creating spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. O Lord, I have heard your renown and fear no more. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from heaven, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with His glory, and with His praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine before from Rays shine forth from beside him where his power is conceived. Before him goes pestilence, and the plague follows in his steps. He pauses to survey the earth, his look makes the nations tremble. The eternal mountains are shattered, the angel hills bend low and along the ancient ways. I see the tents of Kushan collapse, trembling of the pavilions of the land of Midian. Is your anger against the streams, O Lord? Is your wrath against the streams, your rage against the sea? Occupy the seeds of your victorious chariot. There and ready is your ball, filled with arrows is your quiver. In the streams you split the earth, outside of you the mountains tremble. A torrent of rain descends, the ocean gives forth its roar. The sun forgets to rise, the moon remains in its shelter. At the light of your flying arrows, at the gleam of your flashing spear. In wrath you describe the earth, in fury you trample the nations. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed. One. You form on my strength and you form my power. You are my God and you are my good. You will never be a bosom of my father and this is my poverty. Therefore, the prophet, I will go back for I am to you. Glory to your power, O Lord. You cross the cross as the wicked, you lay down their faces at the The race of mankind has been recalled from the fall, which of course for who has suffered all of all. For the creature of all was lifted upon the tree, his fingers bloody, his hands run through with nails of his own will. His side pierced by a spear. You feel pierced with your tablets of their princes, whose loss to be devouring the wretched in heaven. When the cross was set up, all the sequels fell, and your garments of Savior were removed. The alien one was stripped naked, and Adam was arrayed in a robe of divine incorruption. Creation was enlightened when you were crucified on the tree of Christ, and the sun did his praise. You who tread the sea with your feet, on his journey of blood he poured. Like sheep and martyrs, you offered yourselves to the slaughtered word as a new sacrifice, and drowned in the sea of falsehood with streams of blood and divine grace. Ever halting the outflow of the passions of the ring of miracles, O glorious ones. I hear in my body trembles at the sound my lips quiver. You endured the mutilation of all your members, O martyrs, the uprooting of your teeth and nails, the pitiless amputation of your hands. 
tongue, speech, and bodily extremities. Wherefore you have been deemed worthy of the greatest glory, and stand before the God of all. And let my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. Seeing her bullet lifted upon the tree, the mother shepherd cried out, exclaiming, O my child, how has the assembly of the iniquitous failed to have pity on you who had pity on them? But see by the sequel plot, they have justly will to murder you. Why away the day of the stress that will come upon the people who are with light you have blew in my soul, which has been darkened by transgression, though ever virgin. For you have given birth to the Son of Righteousness. For the hope of the blossom of Lord will be on the Lord. Rescue me from temptations in the soul-destroying tempest of life. O bride of God, and free me from everlasting fire. No the guilt of the old man, and the tyrants is broken so good. O sacred vessel of virginity, habitation of him who by nature is incontainable, enlighten my soul, which has been darkened by many passions. No love lost disappear from the cold, but that be overheard in the soul. O holy bride of God, sovereign lady of the world, save me, deliver me from misfortunes, and dispel the tumult of the passions. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. And exalt in my saving God. With the wisdom of your words and the grace of your deeds, you manifestly put to shame the prince of darkness, O Theodotus, and gain victory over him, having struggled victoriously. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my peace with the souls of mine. With the fire of your sufferings, you manifestly consume the new legion of polytheism. Polytheism, O martyrs, and having mystically lighted yourself with the Holy Spirit like a lamb, you have enlightened the whole, whole world. He enables me to go up on the heights, victorious in his soul. Your sides mightily lacerated and truly covered all over with cruel wounds. You are revealed to be unshaken in mind because of your faith, O glorious and ever memorable one. The Lord is with the power and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, amen. Preserving you and corrupt after giving birth, as you were before birth giving, O Virgin, the Creator made his abode within your womb, restoring those who have become corrupt through many sins. My soul yearns to you in the night, yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. The wicked man spared does not learn justice. In an upright land, he acts perversely and sees not the majesty of the Lord. O light, ever remaining, why have you turned your face from me? And why has the alien darkness surrounded me, wretched though I be? But do you find my steps I implore you, and turn me back for the light of your covenant? Oh, Lord, I have exalted the Lord, may be holded that you might deliver me from the beginning taste of the fruit, you did deign to taste gall, O long-suffering one, and that you might strip me of the mortality of the passions of Jesus, you will to be nailed naked to the tree. I sing to your loving kindness. Let them be ashamed when they see your zeal for your people, let the fire prepare for your enemies come soon. Making you my soul, which had been corrupted by the passions of word, you committed your soul to the Father while hanging on the tree. Perceiving this, the inanimate earth could not bear it, but quaked in fear, singing hymns to you. O Lord, you may not be to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. A ray of divine sufferings had involved in the steps of him who by his sufferings has granted his passion to unto all. The only begotten word of the beginningless Father, you were adorned, O martyrs, wherefore you are glorified with him. O Lord, our God, the Lord, when you have ruled us, it is from you only that we can call upon your name. Having rejected things below, you inherited invisible things, making your abode in the divine habitations of heaven, immaterially deified by divine communion, O invincible martyrs of the Savior. 
A strange sight do I see, all the old in one cried out. How have you had the sight of whom the whole earth does quake, fallen asleep, lifted upon the tree, desiring to wake those asleep from all ages? I bow down before your long suffering, O oh my son. For oh, you have punished and destroyed them, and wiped out all that will be over. We have you all, all hands in most immaculate virgin, who contain the word of God in your womb. You have increased the nation, O oh Lord, increased the nation to your own glory, and extended for all the borders of the land. As you have the power to spare and to cure, deliver me from the unquenchable fire and the word, O Mother of God. O Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cry out in anguish under your chastisement. You are the bulwark and might of the faithful, all holy one, from temptation saving those who hear you. As a woman about to give third prize and prize in her name, so were we in your presence, O Lord. Give you, my ailing soul, O most pure lady, who have given birth to the salvation of all, who takes away our infirmities. We conceived and arrived in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. Protected by divine force, O wise martyr, thou you did manifestly endure the onslaught of the iniquitous ones through your patience, suffering the affliction of tortures and burning. But when that shall live, their corpses shall rise, awake and see you lie in the dark. Reaching the word of piety, O divinely wise martyr, you did journey far on paths of travel, and you did turn to the light those who led astray, who were led astray by the darkness of vanity. For your good is unto a lion, and the land of chase is burned. Like a lion, you were suspended upon a tree, O martyr, and endured maiming with iron blades, as though you were without a body, stripping away the coarseness of mortality, O blessed one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, O O pure virgin of thy pure, of your pure blood, you have truly given birth to the incarnate word of the Father, and two perfect natures with a single hypostasis. O divinely joyous one, the oldest of my sins and the soul of my transgression, did it is quiet and thrust me down in the depths of his solemn sea. Most rich for your mighty heart. Unto me as you did to Peter, as did me all of my time. Out of my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. All the hosts of heaven sang and were amazed, seeing you hanging upon the cross of word. For by your word, your wounds you healed wounded Adam, and the curse has been annulled. From the midst of the netherworld, I cried for help, and you heard my voice. Mankind was released from unbreakable bonds when you were bound in the flesh of word, and the tyrant is bound like a bird, be wild by all the faithful. Glory to your tender compassion, O Christ. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the sea, and the flood enveloped me. You were shown to be like burning coals, consuming all the tinder of ungodliness with grace, O godly passion bearers. For seared on burning coals of fire, you received divine coolness. All your breakers and your pillows passed over me. As sheep of the true shepherd, you remained unharmed, even in the midst of wild wolves, wolves, O passion bearers. And having finished your race well, O divine ones, you now dwell in the fold of heaven. Good, I said, I am banished from your sight, yet I will look again upon your holy temple. I gave birth to you, the Lord of my life, work only in beauty, more than the sons of men, the virgin cried out. How do you now die, crucify, and bereft of beauty? O oh, my son, who by your hand made all beautiful. No water stood about me, threatening my life, the obvious and bowed of me. O Mary, pure and most honorable habitation of the Creator of all, grant me tears to purify my soul, 
and rescue me from the judgment and torment to come. See the cloud above my head, down I went into the roots of the mountains. The bars of the the world were closing behind me forever. O Theotokos, you gate of God, reveal to my holy soul the divine entry, that entering therein with confession, I will receive the remission of my evil deeds. But you draw my life up from the pit, O Lord, my God. My mind is tempest tossed in the deep of sins amidst the waves of despair. Have pity, O Lady, extend your hand to me and save me. O you who have given birth to the Savior. When my soul faded within me, I remember the Lord. Amid the depths of evil, ever beset by turmoil and tribulations. All of us of faith will have you as an intercessor and support of the Otokos, you only refuge of the faithful. We conceive it, my very skills in your holy temple. With your sacred discourses, you did prepare the pure women for the contest of martyr, and bring it down the enemy with manly exertions. They have woven crowns of incorruption. Those who worship may my bones forsake their source of goodness. Protecting your soul with the might of the spirit, by your endurance of wounds, you did cast down the spirits of evil, right wondrous one, receiving from God a crown of victory. Oh, 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 I with resounding praise will sacrifice to you, for I vow I will take deliverance is from the Lord. With the drops of your blood, O Martyr of Christ, you did quench the flame of the idols, and with the dew of your pains, you did moisten the souls of the pious, delivering them from the flame of deception. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. He who is God of every and all created things, no way again invisible, invisible. Truly made his abode within your womb and assumed flesh, edifying all mankind, O ever virgin. Be beholding the seal of life, surging with the tenders of temptations. I want to your call me when I cry to you. Raise up my life from corruption. Oh, Again and again in peace with us, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, and mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your birthday. Lord, have mercy. God, have the reign of most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and that the Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our life. To Christ our cause, to you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, O Lord, our God of our salvation. You have done everything that is good for our lives, and we look always to you, Savior and benefactor of our souls. For you have given us rest in that part of the night which is past, and now have raised up us up from our sleep to worship your honored name. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, give us the grace and strength to be found worthy to sing praise always, and to pray constantly, and to work for our own salvation in fear and trembling, with the help of your Christ. O Lord, remember those who pray to you in the night. Hear them, and have mercy on them, and crush under their feet invisible and malicious enemies. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls. And we give thanks to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. And my pleasing creation with your soul and sufferings, you were truly your son, and I was a Bless 
the Lord, all angels of the Lord, you heavens of the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you waters above the heavens, all you hosts of the Lord. Bless the Lord, sun and moon, stars of heaven. Bless the Lord, every shower and all you live. It is well, the valley and tyrant made the goodness place. Bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord, 
No language other than ours cannot describe the unfathomable depth of mystery, or in a manner past all telling you have given birth to God the Word, for the salvation of all, almost pure virgin. With us, praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and highly exalting him above all forever. You may claim me. You claim me to the holy children, and in the sacrifice of righteous man before For you alone, O Christ, do all as Master and Lord, in that you are good, 
And you show me how to walk the path of salvation, your feet affixed to the cross, those feet at the sight of which our first parents of old, they hid themselves when they beheld you walking in paradise. When you were set upright on the cross, a firstborn man who had suffered a great fall was set upright. All the might of the enemy fell, and the whole world was sanctified by the blood of water which flowed from your side. Therefore, we magnify you unceasingly, O most compassionate one. Found a holy martyr, as you loose the bonds of the evil one, and with the bonds which you patiently endured, you got him and set him under your feet full of shame, and by divine grace made him a mockery for those who saw him. By the deposition of the sacred relics and the martyrs, the earth has been sanctified. For having acquired them as a divine wellspring, they poured forth all manner of healings, unceasingly healing the passions of soul and body, and with divine grace and the the vein of the demons. Having escaped maternal pangs when I gave birth to you, O long suffering one, I now suffer pangs in my womb. And my soul is filled with pain, as you now willingly partake of suffering, and now accept pain. Cry the most pure one, who we magnify as is just. Take pity on my wretched soul, wretched soul, O most pure one. You are fortified by destructive passions, and dispel the perplexity which torments me, and grants me holy and ever vivifying streams of tears. Whereby I may be delivered from the greatest condemnation which awaits me. O pure virgin bride of God, you are a bulwark for Christians and a safe refuge for the world wherein we are saved. For God, having become incarnate from you, has given you to all as a saving protection. Wherefore, save me, who am unworthy, O pure one. O my son, beginning with the word of the Father, who are co enthroned with the Holy Spirit, how is it that you have stretched out your most precious feet upon the cross? What is this great abasement, O supremely good one, the Almighty One cried out, standing before you as you were crucified? O you who have given birth to the sweetness of all, like drops of divine sweetness fall, sweeten my soul, which has been made bitter by the venom of the serpent, O sure intercessor of the faithful, ever estranging me to bitter sin by your mediation. O ye higher ones, now the strength of God for love. That you might receive heavenly glory, O passion bearer, rejoicing, you spurn visible glory. And committing yourself to tortures with divine resolve, you were adopted by the prospects of tortures and bitter death. Wherefore, having struggled, you have been crowned with the martyrs. You showed yourself to be the pure temple of the Trinity, erected by godly deeds and adorned with the brilliance of splendid sufferings, O Theodosius, who are most noetically rich. Wherefore, with the divine power of the Comforter, you manifestly demolished the demonic temples of the great and images. You were revealed to be a mountain exuding divine sweetness, a wellspring of miracles and abyss of divine gifts, and a radiant stream of the Holy Spirit and entering to men's souls, drowning the passions, and would enjoy for all who hit you with piety, O glorious martyr. At the crying angel you conceived the word who is without beginning, who took no egg and an and flesh of your pure blood, all pure virgins, and cast down the incorporeal foes, saving all who confess you to be the truth, they also goes. It is impossible for to see God. Oh, 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 Thank you. 
Give us joy to balance our affliction for all the years we knew misfortune. Show forth your works, your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Of all the garden of Eden, for it is made of trees, through the blood of Eden. God, your church, rise as far across the straightboard. For we have thy love on the world, though I have cast my hand to take of this fruit. But the other gave life to the thief, who was saved by faith. O Christ, our love, by your suffering, it brings death for us already in the Show us to share in his salvation, and grant us your kingdom, O Lord. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us, give success to the work of our hands, give success to the work of our hands. O oh, invincible, O martyrs of Christ, Having vanished our Adam of the power of the cross, you receive the grace of eternal life, and the love by the precious utterance. You rejoice as you are wounded with tortures, and for love and love you love me make for our souls. Pray you let our souls be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Beholding you hanging upon the cross, O Lord, the pure one who gave birth to you, standing near by us that we O oh, my child, why do you suffer these things in the flesh, and hasten to be childless? Hasten, you and glorify yourself, that I may be magnified by your suffering. Is to give thanks to the Lord and to make music to your name, To proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. Is to give thanks to the Lord and to make music to your name, To proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, sends us our sins, master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. As we stand in the temple of your glory, we consider ourselves standing in heaven. O oh, Mother of God, heavenly gates, open to us the doors of your mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Most holy, 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 most
the blessing, blessed is Christ our God, the one who is, always now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. Be among them, support our civil authorities, confirm the faith of all the nations, give peace to the world, and safeguard the city. Grant those who have gone before us a dwelling place among the righteous. Accept us in repentance and in mercy, for you are good and love us all. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. More of the land of charity, and we all compare more glorious to the servitude. Who a virgin gave birth to God the Lord. You truly the death of those be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. To the prayers of our holy fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Lord and Master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, loss, or power. Instead, bestow on me your servant the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters. For you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, the sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O oh God, be merciful to me, the sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O oh God, be merciful to me, the sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O oh God, be merciful to me, the sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Lord, master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, of lust for power, and lies of matter. Instead, be so on me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ, God, of all glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, have mercy on us, and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of the holy, proto martyr, and archdeacon Stephen, the patron of our church, of the holy Hiram, Margaret Theodotus, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Thank you.